And tonight, Crown Force Alicia Reed speaks to the wife of a Bay Area man who survived the deadly avalanche. This is a story you'll see only on Crown 4. John Ryder captures a moment with the man he entrusted his life to. On his blog, John says Dawa Sherpa, the gentleman to the right of the screen, pushed him out of the way and shielded him when large blocks of ice started falling around them. His Sherpa um, grabbed him, thankfully, and pushed him down behind a huge chunk of ice, which shielded him. Just calling us and telling us he was okay, we knew something was wrong. So I told him he was our Good Friday miracle. John's team was doing a practice run to get across a big block of ice on Mount Everest when an avalanche killed more than a dozen people. The Sherpa were up in front of them carrying supplies up to a higher camp. And um, and unfortunately, all of those Sherpa were there together when the avalanche came down and it came crashing down onto the ice fall in between um, the football field, which is one of the areas they call that glacier and Camp One. There was like 40 people total in the ice fall and it's a huge area and they were really far apart from each other and there was no overcrowding like there can be on a summit push day. It was just a natural disaster and it wasn't caused by garbage that actually there used to be a lot of garbage on Mount Everest, but now he said it's very pristine, it's beautiful. We spoke to John over the phone, and although he went to Mount Everest to finish his goal of climbing the tallest mountain on each of the seven continents, he is taking a step back. He continues to mourn with the Sherpa community and says the rest of the climbing season is uncertain. The Sherpas may or may not continue on to the top. Alicia Reed, Cron 4 News. Prior to Friday, Everest's deadliest accident was in May of 1996 when eight climbers disappeared during a storm. To follow John's blog, connect with him by going to our website at cronfor.com.